Hey guys, in this video, we will mainly do three things. First, we will host our anchor in the cloud. Second, we will get the cloud anchor ID. And third, we will use that cloud anchor ID to resolve the anchor from almost any device we want. So just so before we go ahead, we will download the 3D model for the app. And also, I don't know if I told you guys that there are three types of models that can be rendered in scene form: GLTF, OBJ, and FBX. OBJ would be too simple, so they decided to add FBX and GLTF to our scene form. Now using GLTF and FBX you can make animations or m make high textures or high quality 3D models and scene form would support it. So depending on your need you can use that but for simplicity we will be using OBJ models in our app. So go to poly.google.com We will use the same 3D model for our this app that is arctic fox you could use any of these obj file or gltf file but i'll be using obj extract the file and copy these three files from the folder Create a new sample data directory. And paste those files in this directory. Import the scene form asset from the obj file. Click right on the obj file. Import scene form asset. Reduce the scale of this model. Replace the first two digits with 0 phi. Press command S to save. Now go to main activity.java file. Create an object of custom air fragment. Press Alt Enter to cast it to custom AR fragment. Set AR fragment on, on click listener. On tap AR listener. Okay, so before we create anchor and do all this stuff will first create an enum. We'll call this enum app anchor state. There will be three states in this enum none, hosting, and hosted. Create an object of this enum. and set it to state none. So why do we need this enum? Because we will check for cloud anchor ID in our on update method only if it is being hosting. It is being it, if it is being hosted. And if it is hosted then we won't look for it as there are no listeners provided by AR core to get to know if uh, our anchor has been hosted to the cloud. We'll also create 
an anchor variable we need to keep this global as we will be checking for its state its cloud anchor state and to get the id in another functions too so anchor will be equals ar fragment get ar scene view get session dot host cloud anchor we need to pass the anchor which we want to host it on the cloud so that anchor has been can be created through the hit result variable hit result dot create anchor now that our anchor is being hosted we can set anchor state to hosting we'll also add a boolean variable is placed and if our model has been placed then we won't do it again if the user taps it taps on the ar plane so write this condition if not placed and if it is then we will set to set it to true now that we have our anchor we can place it to our scene create method create model will pass anchor as its parameter press alt enter to create the method we can now build the model and name of our 3d model that is arctic fox pose.sfp finally we can build it and then accept our model and we can place the model through this function place model and anchor and model will go as parameter to this press alt enter to create the method create an anchor node on the provided anchor and set its renderable to our model renderable and now we can add this node to our scene by calling ar fragment dot get ar scene view get scene add child anchor node now we can set our ar fragment to on update listener and check if our anchor has been hosted on the cloud so we can do that by setting it on update listener add on update listener we are creating an an anonymous class here because we don't need to do it we could do it here it's more simple now we will check is our anchor state hosting if it is not hosting then we will return from this function and if it is then we will create an object of cloud anchor state we'll call this cloud anchor state and through our anchor variable we will get its cloud state by calling this function 
now we will check if our if there is no error occurred while play while hosting the anchor on cloud so we can do that by writing this condition is error if it is then we will show a toast message we'll create a function for that will pass the state in the string form to this toast message and that will tell what error has been occurred and if there is no error then we will check was hosting the cloud anchor a success so if cloud anchor state is equals to equals to success then we will proceed the first thing we will do is set app anchor state to hosted and the second thing that we will do is retrieve the anchor id from the anchor so we can do that string anchor id equals anchor dot get cloud anchor id will also show us toast message telling the user that our anchor has been hosted anchor hosted successfully anchor id anchor id now this anchor id is a long string and no one will be able to remember it or it will take a lot of time to just type it also so what you can do in uh, to minimize this problem is by creating short keys for this uh, these anchor ids and later these short keys can be used by different devices to get to resolve the anchor but for this app i'll be testing it on the same device so i will save this anchor id using sh shared preferences and so create an object of shared preferences prefs and we will also have a shared preference editor we'll call this editor we can initialize these two variables prefs equals get shared preferences we can call this anchor id mode private and editor equals prefs dot edit using the editor we can put our string and our anchor id we'll call it anchor id and pass the string variable here and lastly we can apply our settings we will also show a toast message while hosting our anchor we'll pass the string hosting press alt enter Toast dot make text. This comma pass s as the message and length long, and we can show it. Now that we have our anchor ID, we can use that to resolve our anchor. 
whenever user clicks on resolve button so first create a reference to our button and whenever resolve is clicked we can retrieve the anchor id from the shared preference get string anchor id we also need to pass a default value to this as a second parameter so we will just pass null and if our anchor id is equals null then we can show a toast message no anchor id found and we can return from this function now we can resolve the anchor using the anchor id so to do that we can call ar fragment not get ar scene view get session resolve cloud anchor and we can pass our string and then our anchor will be resolved we will store the resolved anchor in the anchor variable let's call it resolved anchor we can pass this resolved anchor method variable in our create model function and our model will be placed okay so that was it in the next few videos i'll be making more on advanced stuff in arcore so stay tuned for that and also subscribe to my channel